uh, I'm going to be talking about this beauty trend which has been around since like um, I don't know 15 20 days or something like that I just saw it on my snap uh, wait let me tell you what am I talking about I just saw it on my snap um, that people were using Brian certs to do their face makeup and I was like um, what like seriously uh, where did this idea really come from uh, see there was um, this beauty blender trend and there still is we all know that it's so amazing and I still use it and I think nothing can replace that but what are those uh, birds okay so nothing can replace the beauty blender trend however uh, there was this new uh, makeup applicator that came in which was a silicon sponge and that silicon sponge or a silicon pad and that silicon pad was always out of stock so people started searching for ways in which they can replace that silicon pad as people obviously normally do and hence they came up with the idea of um, using the bra inserts in you know in, in the place of those silicon pads and <clears throat> people said and that it actually worked when you would never need a beauty blender again I was like what does it actually work so today like I have this is this is this came in like this in the packaging I ordered this from Amazon I will link it down below and um, I thought I'd use this but people have been using those um, those uh, tape bra cutlets or whatever um, but I ordered for bra inserts which look like these and these actually are in the shape of I don't know what uh, a leaf <laughs> that's what I can signify it with so these are in the shape of a leaf and I thought it's very weird holding this and see you hold this and it's I thought it would be a good shape because um, these are not actually bras but these can actually work to lift up your um, um, you know your enhance your bra and they work as a push up you can put it inside your bra and whatever so never have I used these but in case any of you wants to use it as a bra, you're free to use it. If you want to use it as a makeup applicator, we will see. So um, I think we should not waste any time. I haven't tested this. It looks weird. Let's just get started. So I'm going to prime my face as usual. And I'm using the Color Bar Silicon Primer. I think everything is too silicony today. Silicon, silicone. I don't know. Anyway, so I thought, let's see, and also I've heard that this medium of beauty blender, it does not absorb a lot of products, so the product is actually there and it gives you like same results, and which I really doubt, but we'll see. So I'm using my Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Foundation, I'm in the shade uh, 2W2, I think something's wrong with the birds today. I will apply it like I normally do, I go like this. And let me just see. So first, I just um, apply it on my face with my fingers, and then I blend it because otherwise the application won't be that great. Which I still doubt, but whatever. Let's start. I'm nervous. What if I have to pick up my brush? I have my brushes, so don't worry. Okay. Weird, but it's actually doing the job, and quite amazed. I'm quite amazed that it's actually doing the job, and it's actually easy to reach at those uh, areas because this also has a tip like that of a beauty blender. So I, I really did not find it weird, I am actually quite, I think I use a bit too much of uh, the foundation though and I normally with the beauty blender and with the makeup uh, brush it gets subsided and they take away a little bit of foundation but since this product did not use any foundation and did not soak up any foundation so the foundation is on my skin, I think it's given me a very flawless coverage and I'm quite liking it. I'm, 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 it, I feel so weird saying that I'm quite pleased. 
So I thought I'd use all of the liquid products with this so that I know that whatever is going with it, whatever isn't. So otherwise I just use a, like a creamy concealer but today I'm going to be using a liquid concealer just to test it out. I don't want to ruin my shadow. But we shall see. Now this is the ultimate test. Also, I think I should do my highlight and contour with this because, you know, that's how we know things, okay? So, yeah. I'm again using the LA Girl um, Highlight Color in Creamy Beige. The concealer, the color of the concealer was pure beige, which is a tad bit darker because my under eyes are just, like darker than this area. Then around my nose and in the center of my nose. Okay. I really don't know if this will blend this one out as well as much as it did the foundation. I mean, because with uh, I mean I'm okay. I like with the highlight. I'm not that worried. I'm worried about the contour. Because if it doesn't blend properly, it'll look so weird. Okay. Let's see. Putting it to test number two. Highlight it and contour. Now let's see what does it do. I think it's actually working. I don't know. It's working really well. But instead of doing a little bit more of this, you have to go a little bit more like this. Otherwise, it's working, yeah. Shocking. I am so shocked. The other end, I'm gonna go for the contour. Otherwise, everything might just get mixed up. And this was actually pretty cheap. Now, for the nose, it's becoming a little too uh, weird. I think I better use my finger for this. But as it is, I don't uh, use a beauty blender for my nose, so... It's okay. Then for this. I'm using this side which is very tapered. So it's not giving me that great a result. I think again I have to use the tapered end for my contour area to blend it. Like I don't know, it's not that comfortable to use because a blender is like boop 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 and you're done. But this thing is like just, it's spilling my contour everywhere. No, I do not like it for blending on my contour. That's what I feared because it will not work for my contour because, you know, um, It'll spill everything everywhere and with contour you've got to be really 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 precise and I like my brushes for that not even the beauty render I don't trust anything I just want to blend everything away I think I'll just set everything with powders and then I'll come back and give you my review Hey guys so I'm back and uh, I just put on some threw on some uh, powder on my face and some blush and uh, I put on some lipstick, my eyes are already done and whatever. So now let's get come to this. This thing is like really cheap, that's what I like about it. And the foundation application that it gave me is amazing. I have no complaints about whatsoever about the foundation. But if it comes to uh, the contour, um, I don't think that uh, it, was, it really served the purpose. Uh, I just could not contour with this. <clears throat> this uh, ends were too weird and it felt weird. And as far as going into the corners and about the eye concealer, I really thought that there also did a good job. It did not eat the product. It did a good job because um, 
of the pointed uh, end that it has if you buy something which does not have a pointed end then I'm, I doubt that if that job would be you know if that would you be you would be able to do but as far as using this on daily basis uh no way because um like see this this is weird <laughs> If I, my brother sees me using this as a makeup blender, he'll be like, what? Are you crazy woman? I mean, what are all those brush, brushes for? But um, like, if you guys don't want to spend that money, it's so cheap. Uh, this is like for 300 bucks. So if you don't want to spend that kind of money on brushes and you want a smooth foundation application, you, you just, I'm not saying anything, but you just might consider this as an option. But as far as I'm concerned and as far as everyday makeup for me is concerned, I will not be using it, yeah, but if there is some emergency, you're on some trip, you forget something and la 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 la, then I might just use it. No complaints whatsoever for the foundation, but it was a weird thing to use and um, I like my beauty blender better. So let me know what you think of this and if you want to see me doing more such videos when I try, try out these weird sort of things and you know, you enjoy it, then let me know and I will be back. So till then, take care of yourselves and I'm moving my head way too much. Take care of yourself and I hope that uh, you guys like this video. Bye, take care.